Hello friends and fellow witches. Today we are about to unbox some magic and we're talking real witchcraft. Not fantasy, not Harry Potter, no this is real witchcraft. We're back with another witch casket subscription box. This video is kindly sponsored by the witch casket so just before we get unboxing I will give you a little bit of information about the witch casket. This is a genuine witchcraft subscription box. It's also run by a mother and daughter team which means that this is made by witches for witches witches and I think that's super cute. All of their packaging is eco-friendly and I think one of my favourite things which I mention every single time that we open a witch casket is that every time a witch casket is purchased they plant a tree. Also another thing you don't just get the physical witch casket subscription box which comes directly to your door oh no you get some magical extras in the form of digital content. So this is the witch casket if you're interested in knowing what is inside then keep on watching and hey if you are interested in getting your own witch casket after you've watched this or you're like you know what I would really like one of those check out the link in the description down below but let's get on with it because I'm very excited to open it and if you are brand new here firstly hello welcome don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because I don't even know what the theme is this month but I'm really excited I'm excited Right then, so here we have it. This is the witch casket. We've got a little lock here. I'm just gonna undo it right there with my magic key. Let's have a look. We've got all of their socials. Make sure you check out Witch Casket on Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr, apparently. Okay, let's open it on up. So we are met with the theme, which is good. This is Witch Casket October 23, and it is themed around altar curiosities. Hmm, the word curiosities is getting me very excited. Now this is the cheat sheet and guide, so I am going to put that to one side and then we will read what they are as we discover the items as we go along. There is something in this box. Oh, I don't know what that smell is, but it's incredible. I'm gonna put this box to one side and we're going to just go ahead and pick out the thing that is on top. So here we have what looks to be a piece of artwork with maybe some tarot cards in a hand. I'm loving, the, oh my God, I'm wearing like the same ring as, <laughs> as the hand. Uh, don't have black nails at the moment. And when we flip this over, this is like a little card where you can write your own monthly manifestation so it says what are my goals this month what practical steps can I take to reach these goals and what magical steps can I take to reach these goals and then at the bottom here it has something that you can say out loud the seeds are planted intentions are set I command my desires to be met so that's cute I actually really like that not only is it a piece of artwork they've made it kind of practical so this is cool I like this and it's quite a cute little piece of art so this was the Oracle Art Print. This is a witch casket exclusive, so you can only get it in this crate. And it says, of what future do these three magical cards speak? An oracle reads from their trusty tarot deck. This bewitching art print was lovingly created by our in-house designer, Faye, especially for you. Okay, lovely. Let's move on to, oh, yes. Let's move on to the ritual kit. So this here is a packet and inside there are some items which are basically everything you need to perform a certain ritual and this one here is the stone casting letting go ritual and it says contains all you need to cast away whatever is holding you back. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is what we're met with initially. We have got the ritual to-do list and it tells you what you need and then it gives you instructions on how to do it. We have got ourselves a white spell candle. We've also got ourselves the cutest miniature incense stick and we also have got a little stone. So let's take a look and read through this ritual. Okay, so it does tell us what we need but Thankfully, they have included everything. The incense stick is a sandalwood scent, which is very nice. And it just says, take your incense stick, light it and use the smoke to cleanse the space that you'll be working your magic in. Light the white candle, take the pebble in your hand and sit with it. As the candle burns down, take this time to give your worries, stresses and negative emotions to the pebble. It says you can think or say out loud the things that you'd like to let go of and move on from. It says then you take 
take your pebble to a natural body of water, such as a lake, a river, an ocean, and cast it into the water. Know as you walk away with gratitude that your troubles are being washed away. If you don't have access to a natural body of water, the alternative is to take your pebble away from your property and bury it. I like that they've given the alternative in case you don't live near water. Thankfully, I do. I've got quite a few ponds and rivers near where I live, so that's pretty cool. I love the idea of this one. I definitely woke up this morning with a very full busy brain full of stresses and worries to the point I had a little stress cry so I feel as though this particular ritual kit has found me at a very <laughs> good time. So here we have it the stone casting letting go ritual kit. This dark magical package contains all you need to cast away whatever is holding you back and then it just says what it holds um, including the instructions. Next up firstly can we just talk about how cute and autumnal the packaging is this month with the witch casket. I actually really, really like that they've made some differences with like theme. I think it brings a little bit extra magic to it. But yes, this is another exclusive. This is an opulent altar picture frame. Okay. On the back, it says, use this frame to focus your energy when honoring ancestors and loved ones, or when working magic for a specific person. Place an image of the person you're honoring inside of the frame to help you focus as you work your magic or hold your memorial ritual. Okay. Let's have, ooh. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I'm loving that. That is a really cute design. Let me just pop the box over there. So here it is. This feels like it's metal and it's been cast and it's got all sorts of magical kind of details surrounding it. We've got some flowers, we've got an eye, we've got a little pentacle up there. We've got some moons and some stars. We've even got something that looks like lavender or some sort of cute little herb plant. Um, really like this. The back has got a stand so you can stand this up on your altar or wherever you would like it or I guess you could just use it as a frame as well. Here it is inside the Witch Casket information booklet. It says, we had so much fun designing and creating this enchanting piece of altarware. We hope you'll love it. And then it says basically what it said on the back of the frame, so I won't reread that, but there we have it. Let's move on. Okay, we've got ourselves quite a nice sized box. Again, just loving all the autumnal leaves. I'm a big fan of autumn, what can I say? So this says it's a wooden altar platform. Okay, I'm interested to see what this is going to look like. It says, a beautiful platform to elevate your important magical items on your altar. Use this decorative raised surface to display your small curiosities or for offerings during rituals or as a small spell casting table when working your magic. Love the little designs that they've got on here. It's nice to see a little bit more colour in the witch casket boxes. Have a little look. Okay. Oh, it is. It's a cute little... Oh, look at the design on there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I mean, that's really cute. So yes, it is a wooden table. As you can see, it's got the little legs there and it does just raise from the surface that you've put it on. But I love, I love the etching details inside of here. I think it's really pretty. I like that you can see the natural wood through the black. It also feels quite nice. But yeah, that's really pretty. Here it is in the little guide. It does just say the exact same thing that we've already read on the back of the box. But gotta say, I'm excited about that item. I'm seeing something orange and it's giving October vibes. Oh, it's a spell candle set. So here is the spell candle set. Let's take a look at what all the colors mean. Firstly, we have got white, which is purity, peace, and all magical workings. We've then got black, which is for protection, banishing, and letting go. And then we have an orange, which is for creativity, confidence, and justice. And let me just just open them just to show you what they look like. Here they are. Oh, they feel really nice. It says, we put together a little set of spell candles with many magical uses. And then it goes on to tell you the meanings of the colors again. But yeah, also a witch casket exclusive. 
<gasps> Why is this exciting me? This is a mini Ulta bottle set. I'm telling you, they are just setting me up with all of the right things for an Ulta. Let's open it and then we'll read on the back of the box and just, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Aren't they just, oh, look at them. We've got a tiny little orange bottle. We've also got a black one. And then last but not least, oh, we've got two black ones and an orange one. I love the colors of those. Those are very, very cute. So these are actual glass. We've got a cork in all three of them. If that's not the cutest little bottle set you've ever seen, I don't know what it is. And let's read what the colours mean. So it says orange, again, is for creativity, confidence and justice, and black is for protection, banishing and letting go. I mean, those are very cute. I definitely want to read about those inside of here. So here it is. It's the mini Ulta bottle set. It says, are you obsessed with bottles like we are? Yes, I am. <laughs> it says, use these charming Ulta bottles for your herbs, crystal chips, that's a good idea, etc. These also make perfect spell bottles. And then it just describes the colors and what they're for. That's a really nice little bottle set. I think that's a really nice thing to get in a box like this. Ooh, let's talk about this month's pin. So this is again a witch casket exclusive and this is a soft enamel pin from the look of it. You can kind of see because the enamel is a little bit sunken. It's not flush and like hard enamel. I'm seeing three pumpkins on here with a kind of starry black background and then it's got five candles in front of it and also interestingly this is double clasped with some silver metal clasps that's the back of the backing card let's take a little read about this month's pin the autumnal magic enamel pin it says sawin and it's pronounced sawin it doesn't look like it is but this is a holiday let me just read you a description of what this actually is for those of you that don't know so it says that sawin is observed from sunset on october 31st so halloween to sunset on November 1st and it's the celebration that is the origin of Halloween and it says that Samhain was first observed by Celtic pagans and it marked the Celtic New Year so basically the end of summer and the end of the harvest season so there the more you know and it says Samhain vibes are plenty for our October pin this witchy pumpkin pin will add magic to any jacket or bag or enhance any wall display okay well, you guys know that I'm all about an enamel pin. Ooh. Okay, the next item to me is looking like an incense holder. This, I believe, is for the incense sticks. And this one here is either for a spell candle, which I'm gonna say it is or it's for a cone. I'm pretty sure it's a candle holder though. This is made out of a block of wood. We've got these cute little magical etchings in there of like autumnal leaves. They almost look like oak leaves. This is cute. Let's read about what this is. Again, it's gonna be something that we can put on our altars. So this here is the spell candle and incense holder. So I was right regarding the candle. It says a thoughtfully designed space saving holder to hold both a spell candle and an incense stick. Okay, speaking of incense sticks, right. I've got to get them out, Witch Casket. I know that it's the incense sticks that are filling this box with that glorious smell. Oh! This might be the best, I'm pretty sure I've said this on every witch casket box, but this might be the best smell. Oh, apple and dandelion. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. These are the Joyous Memories incense sticks. You get a full box of these and it does say on the back that it's a beautiful blend of apple and dandelion. Let's read the side of this then. So it says for use with incense holders and ash catchers only. So it says place away from flammable materials, light and use in a well ventilated area. Okay so it's got all the health and safety things on one side. And then on this side, it says, light the incense at a time when you are honoring and remembering someone you love and affirm, I light this incense to honor the person's name. I invoke happy memories and give gratitude for times past. Let's take these out and have just a little, okay, a bigger sniff. That's all I want. So they're your normal looking incense sticks. I will just open the packet. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, they smell so good. I'm gonna have to light one of these this evening. Oh, they smell so relaxing. So yes, this is a full-sized incense stick. And this is a box of 12 incense. So they're pretty generous with how many they give, but I wish, oh, I wish I could smell that. Why is that like the best smell in the world? Um, <laughs> apple and dandelion might be high up there with one of my favorite, favorite smells I've ever sniffed. Oh. So here we have it, the Joyous Memories Incense. This is what it said on the box, but it also says, did you know Witch Casket Incense, like all Witch Casket products, contains no artificial fragrance? That's pretty impressive with how strong these smell. It says, we believe in the true magical qualities of herbs, flowers, and plants and there's no substitute for their natural aroma i mean that's pretty incredible okay let's move on to what is in this cute little pouch this is this month's stone this looks like a really beautiful tumble stone oh my god look at the color of that so this here is a carnelian I've not heard of this before. It says carnelian is believed to energize and promote courage. This magical stone can help us to feel empowered and overcome difficulties and it also calms anger. Okay, it encourages higher self-esteem. Ooh, very nice. I like the artwork on the back of there as well. So yeah, I've never heard of this or seen a stone that's this bright beautiful orange carnelian okay this is definitely going into my crystal collection which is overflowing at the moment but i do love these information cards that come with them so i am going to pop that back in its pouch for safe keeping here is the information in the witch casket guide it's the same that was printed on the cute little information card inside and last but certainly not least we have got ourselves a little piece of parchment in a scroll these are always very interesting to me firstly cute little sticker okay so let's unfurl our scroll Whee! <laughs> whoa this has got a lot of information on it guys this is a magical altar wear so this is telling us all of the things that we could put on our very own altar let's take a quick look then so we've got a bell an offering dish we've got candles bottles and jars book of shadows not sure how to pronounce this a same a tame uh, we've got cauldron crystals and stones incense picture frames a broom a chalice a wand a pentacle and divination tools there is a lot of stuff here that i definitely already have so that is great to know and that was their magical altar wear parchment scroll it says this month's parchment is inscribed with useful information about some well-loved altar tools this information can be copied to your grimoire or book of spells or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book it says framed these scrolls could also add splendor to the walls of your home okay yeah i mean the design of it was pretty nice okay so let's take a quick look and an overview of everything that we got inside the october 2023 alter curiosities witch casket box here we have it this is everything that we got inside the october 2023 alter curiosities box from the witch casket i gotta say i think this might actually be my favorite witch casket to date and there's a few reasons why i really liked the the little ritual kit this month. I feel like it came to me at a very good time. It's one that I need to use. Also, I really like that as someone that hasn't yet set up an altar and wants to, this has given me a load of bits and pieces. Like we've got the frame, we've got the little table, we've got the incense and spell candle holder. We've got quite a few spell candles and these little bottles. They have like set me up a good starting point for an altar. I think that's really cool. Overall, I loved the theme. I think my favourite items, you know I'm going to say the incense. I don't know what they have done. I think they may have cast a spell to make them smell that good. But those are some of my favourite incense sticks that I've ever smelt in my life. And I have used a lot of them. So go you witch casket. Your incense sticks are unlike any others. Other things that are favourite. I really liked the carnelian crystal. The little tumble stone. I think that's nice because it's one that I don't already have in my collection. Ritual kit's going to get some use. But overall I really enjoyed it. Now let me know what you guys think. It's not 
just about my opinion so leave a comment down below what was your favorite item are you interested in witchcraft and maybe dabbling in it learning about it maybe setting up an altar of your own let me know in a comment down below and hey if you have got this far in this video firstly thank you and secondly don't forget to give this video a quick thumbs up before you depart before we depart ways and make sure that you go check out the witch casket website go have a little poke go have a subscribe if you want to unbox one of these with me in the future or you just want to treat yourself to an extra little bit of magic i do recommend them i think they're a joy to open but yes as per usual thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys right i'm gonna go light one of these immaculate incense sticks oh my god oh my god